Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you today? I am, well, if you can see my table, you could tell how I am. <laughs> I have such a mess on my hands. Woo -cha. Let me tell you, I am <laughs> just having a really, really off day. And you know, it happens to all of us. What can I say? Before I start on this crazy adventure I'm about to go on, I want to show you guys something. So, uh, maybe last video or the video before that, I did a swipe using only paint and water. And I wanted to see if with the Amsterdam White I could get cells and if I could get the bloom-like cells where they're really tight and uniform. And I did the swipe using only paint and water. I swiped it with the Amsterdam White. I will link the video um, at the end for you. And voila, it worked. But here's the thing. I had a couple of naysayers tell me that it was going to crack because it was only paint and water. Yet in the same sentence, they referred me to watch Rinska Downa, who, by the way, only uses paint and water in her paintings. So it was just bizarre. But anyway, they told me I couldn't do it, that it would crack and that the cells would not hold up. And I'm here to rub it in those people's faces. <laughs> so... Here you go. It looks exactly the same way as the night that I made it and tilted it. You can see they all stayed together. You got the, the beautiful white lacing. Now, granted, there's not much over here, but when I first did it, there wasn't either. I just didn't swipe as good in this area as I did like over here or this area. But as you can see, not one crack and it dried perfect. And I mentioned Rinska earlier. She does use only paint and water to paint. So it's not like it's something new. And, um, you know, so, yeah. But I had never, when I try, I when I say I want to try something new, I'm saying that I myself have never swiped with paint and water. I'm not saying that nobody else has done that. You know, people take me too literal and they need to just back off <laughs> all right so we are going to do a triple yes triple colander pour with twist and the twist is is i am going to wreck the design before i tilt it to see if i can get any kind of a crazy pattern now I'm working on a 20 by 20 canvas and I cannot move my tripod back any further. You are seeing the canvas from edge to edge. It, the camera is literally cutting off where the edge of the canvas goes down. So you're seeing everything that I am seeing, just so you know. Uh, so I have three little calendars set up there and I'm going to do my calendar a little differently. I know some will put a, a cup in the paint. Nope, paint in the cup, and th they layer them differently. There's a bunch of people that do these. I uh, was going to try to just pour my paint from my squeeze bottle one color at a time into each calendar. Um, I'm using Artist Loft White, which is mixed with Floetrol. I'm using... Parage Posse colors, acrylic paints, and they are sold by Christina Welsh, who also has a channel. And I'm sure most of you know her. Probably all of you know her. So she has her own paint line, and I'm going to be using her colors to uh, do this little experiment with. So you should check those out if you're interested in them. Um, go over to her Facebook group. I'll link it below, Paraj Posse on Facebook. And um, you can get the paints right through there. Uh, she also sells them on Etsy, but they're a little bit cheaper if you're a member of the group, if you're interested in them. So 
one thing about the artist loft that I want to mention, the artist loft white, and that is, is the bottom of the bottle when the paint gets low. There is so much crud every time I buy that brand at the bottom of that bottle. So I literally had to sift my paint because it's just very lumpy. But I already went ahead and put white down on the background. That's another thing that I'm not sure if people do. They may just use the calendar and then tilt. I wanted to have some white paint for it to glide around, okay? So I'm going to start out with a color called Moody Blues. And yes, I have leftover paint in there. This is literally like a, uh, let's just get a painting done here. Jeez, <laughs> I just made such a mess today. So I'm gonna start with that one. I'm just gonna literally go around in a circle like this, okay? My paints are mixed 50-50 with uh, Floetrol. Thinned out with a little bit of water, not much. You can kind of see the consistency when I squeeze it in there. Well, I hope you can anyway. Now, I have a very full cup of white and before I have an accident here. Let me just separate a little bit of this. I'm going to get some white in there. I tried this with pouring medium and I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I have a hard time with pouring medium sometimes. I guess it's because I don't use it enough. But it is what it is. All right, so now this one is, oh, the other one was gold. And then this is Deep Lagoon Shimmer. They are shimmer colors. All right. That, those are the only colors I'm using, three colors. Blue, gold, and the green. Doing it this way also, you know about how much paint you've used or how much you need. It's hard to judge doing these uh, pours like this with a calendar, how much paint you actually need. So... All right, we'll put down some more gold. I'm just watching the flowers that are coming out of this underneath. And I'm gonna keep going until they touch. They're almost there, believe it or not. So I'll probably slow down now with the paint. All right, and the last one will be the Deep Lagoon. probably use a little bit too much but that's okay it's okay that's okay All right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly start lifting up each one
like that. Like that. What a mess. <laughs> no paper towel again. I don't want to drip. All right. Gloves off. So next I'm going to torch really quick, pop the air bubbles. You can see we got some cells there. No silicone, just the Floetrol and the paint and a little tiny bit of water. That's it. Those are pretty designs. I almost don't want to wreck them, but... You know, somebody's going to yell at me if I wreck them. I'm not going to wreck them. We're going to just try to tilt. So they are kind of pretty, especially the centers. You know, I remember this channel. The, the first time I saw this was on a person. Her name was Art by Fars. I don't know if she's still filming. I haven't seen her in forever. But I saw her do this, and it was just so cool. You can see my thick, my uh, white is pretty thick. It'll be a miracle if I don't get any purple on this painting with all that purple on the table. So my goal is to Get that to go off the side a little bit. Just that one there. And now I'm going to go this way. Up in the corner. Really fast there. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to come back this away. Oh, look at this. There was a water drip drop in my uh, paint from washing the strainer so it's all right it's gonna go off anyway you know what i'm kind of glad i didn't wreck this i'm actually loving this composition if i can get it to stretch the right way get that water off of there there we go all right now i'm going to come back down towards me 
a little bit. I hate when these kind of things happen. Like I had a plan in mind to wreck this ring or not the ring, <laughs> wreck this uh, colander pour, but, or a triple colander pour, but I'm glad I didn't because I'm actually loving that a lot. Get them big juicy cells in there. That is really pretty. That's going to look amazing, resin. And now we're going to come back this way. All righty. Just like that. That's it. That is it. I love it. I absolutely, unequivocally love it. Yep, that's it. I'm going to leave it alone so I don't get any purple on it. And I'm going to take the camera down and give you guys a close-up. So I know it's distracting with all that paint on the table. But now that, I love. Let me just get this little corner here quick. Before I forget it. Well, that was fun using three little mini calendars. That's a fun. And over here, I need to get, let's make sure it's good and covered. I like those nice clean edges where the paint just flows over. This is one of those paintings that the paint is just flowing over the edges beautifully. So in a day or two, a couple of days, I'll have a special Christmas video coming out just to say thank you. So be on the lookout for that and maybe a guest appearance by you know who. I don't even want to say his name because then he tries to call his lawyer and sue me for copyright. <laughs> Mr. Fatso himself. C-L-Y-D-E. <laughs> so we'll be bringing him on camera for a minute. And uh, I have another really fun project coming out that I hope you guys look forward to. Um I'm going to edit it tonight and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get it up tomorrow. All right, guys, I shut off the ring light so that you could see what I'm seeing. So the ring light just glows so much. And I'll, I'll turn it on. It doesn't glow, it reflects. I will turn it on so that you can see it brighter too. Um, but man, this is just drop dead gorgeous for a colander pour. Usually I'm not into them too much, but I am so happy I didn't wreck this. I will wreck one though. I just think it would be fun, but look at, look at those lines and the depth. Oh my gosh. Sweet baby Jesus in the manger, sucking his thumb and holding his blankie. Look at that. This is going to be a bananas when it is resined. 
All right, so I put the ring light back on just so you can see it a little bit brighter. I still have to torch it. Um, there's a lot of air bubbles, but my goodness. It is amazing. I love that area. Look at, look at that area. <gasps> I'll give you a few views from this way. Look at that. Uh, it's a 20 by 20. It's a big boy on a level two canvas. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh my God. It's just gorgeous. I cannot get over this. Wowie. Alrighty. Well, I thank you so very much for joining me. Um, if you're interested, like I said, in the Paraj Posse paints, I'm going to put, uh, put the link down below for Christina's group and all the information you need. Check out my Facebook group, uh, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. I have the link for that also. You could come on over and have some fun, share your pictures of your artwork, get some inspiration, say hi, whatever you want. Those rocks look like they're floating in the air. Wow. And um, yeah. I have product links below for resin and all that. Well, the links, but more importantly, the coupons for you guys that I ask the companies for. So check that all out. Okay. Don't forget to hit the like and uh, leave a comment to say hi. And if you haven't already, would you please subscribe? I wish you all a happy night and happy pouring.